Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're talking about the top four best brokers you can use in Australia. So if you're looking to start investing in stocks or ETFs, one of the first questions you should have is where do you want to, you, what broker do you want to use? And obviously different brokers have different advantages. Some have better research tools, some have lower fees. And so depending on what you're looking to do, what your needs are and what your goals are, you might have a different broker. So for example, somebody with lower risk or maybe lower money uh, in their account is going to have much different needs than somebody looking for a much higher risk or maybe somebody who has a lot more value in their account. Of course, all of that will be covered in this video. These are our top picks for the best stock brokers, but of course, this is not financial advice. We don't know what your risk tolerance is, so we're gonna give you the facts in this video, and then you can decide for yourself which one is actually the right one for you. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Number one on this list is actually CMC Markets. This one is incredibly popular, and they have a lot of offerings, from CFDs to Forex, and of course, stocks and ETFs as well, which is really what we're focusing on right here. It's one that's very popular because it's very well regulated, has relatively low fees, uh, there's excellent market research tools, and you don't have an account minimum. So plenty of benefits with this one. Now they also have a lot of different deposit and withdrawal methods to make it as easy as possible. So obviously you could wire your money in, but of course you could use a card or, or, or PayPal or, or a bunch of other methods as well uh, to make sure that it's easy to get your money in and out of the account. One small drawback with CMC Markets is that you do have an inactivity fee. It is obviously avoidable, but it would be $15 per month if you end up with that. Now I'm gonna put a link in the top of the description so you guys can go down there and learn more about these to make sure you don't end up having to pay this fee. Like I said, it is avoidable. So go down there, check that out and get started with this one if you're interested in CMC markets. And that brings us to number two on this list, which is easily one of the most interesting and unique brokers in Australia. This one is growing very, very quickly and for good reason and this is self wealth. So they have a, a, a lot of different advantages that make them unique and make them a very compelling option. But one of them that they really advertise heavily on their site is their fixed fee. So for any trade, you're going to pay 950, which is a, a big advantage because not only is that a very low and competitive fee, but also it doesn't matter what the dollar value is, whatever, whatever amount of money you invest, you are looking at that same exact fee. So it doesn't tear up, it doesn't start getting more expensive as you trade more money. That's a really big advantage here. On top of that, you can actually get five trades for free if you use the link in the top of our description. So if you go down there to the dollarguide.com slash self wealth, that will give you five free trades. So another big advantage if you're getting started, there's also no minimum account balance. There's also a social aspect of it. So you can see what other people are using or other people are investing in. Uh, a really nice way to kind of, I mean, besides just doing your own research, kind of get other ideas and, and see what other people are looking at and investing in. I think that is, you know, has plenty of advantage right there. Of course, uh, you can do plenty of research on here as well. Uh, and they do have a competitive FX rate as well. So their exchange rates, you're looking at 0.6% is what they're taking. A lot of others out there are upwards of 0.7%. So it might seem like a subtle difference, but of course, when you're trading, that does become very important. And a huge advantage here when you're talking about international markets, I mean, you do have access to US markets as well. A big advantage here is that in the account, you do actually have the option to have a USD cash account. So US dollars means that you won't have to pay that Forex fee every time you buy and sell a US stock. Instead, if you if you buy a US stock, you pay that Forex fee once, but if you sell that and you buy a different US stock, you don't have to worry about paying that fee for each transaction. So I think that's a huge advantage for anybody considering buying anything in the United States market. So of course, consider if that's something you want to do or not, but if it is, certainly a huge advantage here. On top of that, I find that the fixed fee makes it much less confusing. I really appreciate that because a lot of other brokers out there have different fees depending on which bank you're using, uh, what kind of markets you're getting into, and, and how much money you're dealing with, a lot of different fees. This one, it's great that it is a fixed fee and it does make it very easy for beginners. They're also ranked very highly by a lot of reputable sources, including Money Magazine, uh, which gave them an award in the past several years in a row. So overall, it's simple, it's cheap, it's easy to use, and it's a very easy recommendation. self wealth is one that, that I think a lot of people would be very interested in. And if you're looking to get even more advanced, Besides the free version, there is also a premium version as well, giving you access to even more resources and more tools uh, for different research stuff and stuff like that. 
Next up on our list, number three is one that you might have already heard of, and this is IG, which is a self-proclaimed number one trading provider in Australia. They also really focus a lot on education and customer support. So for anybody who is new or might be concerned about the intimidation of getting into investing, IG could definitely be a great option there. There's also plenty of other advantages. Obviously, they have a big variety of different things you can do with IG. It is easy to use, and you can get that free demo account as well. So we'll have a link to that in the description below. Uh, but there's a lot of you know a lot of great stuff here you have access to international markets you have relatively low fees although i will say the fees can be a little bit more confusing here so you have no fees for us or uk markets that's a big advantage there but you are going to have that conversion fee of 0.7 percent for every trade so you don't have that us dollar account so that's a little bit of a drawback there uh, and if you plan on doing a lot of us trading frequently or uk trading for that matter you will be paying a lot in those fees but if you plan on just buying and holding for a really long time, uh, it could certainly be an advantage. We also have 5 to $8 for Aussie markets as well. Uh, that's your commission you're going to be paying. So the fees are, are not the most complicated out there, but I will put a link in the description so you guys can look at the fees and kind of figure out what you're actually going to be paying based on what you plan to invest in and where you plan to do that. Uh, there's also a lot of research and research uh, resources available. Uh, so you can do all kinds of research on here as well. And the, the downside here, again, much like a lot of the other ones, there are inactivity fees, uh, again, avoidable, but it's something you should definitely be aware of. And that brings us into the final one, number four in this video. This is ComSec, which obviously comes with a very big name and a big reputation there, uh, being a subset of the Commonwealth Banks. Uh, essentially, it's their trading platform. So plenty of big advantages here. Of course, having that big reputable name uh, gives you, you know, uh, you can rest assured knowing that your money is going to be safer. It's going to be secure because they have that big reputation and they've been around for a while. Of course, plenty of the other ones uh, on this list are still safe and secure. But again, it's something a lot, some people uh, really like to look for it is a big name attached to what they're what they're investing with. Now, with that being said, you also have access to international markets here again. Uh, so that's another big advantage of using ComSec. You have great news uh, and great research tools. So if you're trying to keep up to date on your stocks or your ETFs or whatever you're investing in, you can do all of that with here. The fee schedule here is far more complicated than the others, which is why this moved down to number four on our list. So depending on how much money you invest, you're going to have a different fee. So the lowest is $10 and it goes up to $20, $30. Uh, and above that is going to be 0.12%. Uh, again, depending on, as you can see right here, depending on how much money you're investing. Uh, and it also depends on which banks you're using. And of course there are inactivity fees as well. So fees on this one are definitely a bit of a headache. Uh, but you can see, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can really dig into that. But otherwise ComSec uh, seems to be a great way and a very popular way in Australia uh, to actually start investing to buy different stocks international or domestic um, and there's really it, it's pretty straightforward they're really uh, pretty good to work with pretty easy customer service and overall I think they're a pretty solid number four on this list but guys there you have it those are the four recommendations we have for the best stock brokers in Australia if you've used any of these leave a comment below and let us know what your experience was like if you haven't used these and you have any questions about them certainly leave your questions down below. We will do our best to answer as many questions as possible. As always, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan from The Dollar Guide. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.